You might be wondering where you would end up using a dictionary to store data. When I was working on learning iPhone development, I was using a dictionary to store pairs of when I tested my blood sugar and what my blood sugar was. I'm diabetic and I was writing an app for diabetics and I would actually pair the date so it was automatically entering it so it would take the date and time and then I would add the value for the blood sugar. Now it's really possible especially over a year or two to have the same exact blood sugar multiple times. So this is a very simplified version of what I did with a more complex dictionary in my app. But the reason that you're learning dictionaries is because they are used when you're creating Android and iPhone apps. It's a powerful tool to help you manage data. So I'm going to show you a simplified way that I would use a dictionary for tracking data. So I'm using a 24-hour clock as the assumption here because that makes things a little easier than AM or PM. And I have paired levels. Now you'll notice I'm pairing a string with a number. So this is sugars, this is my blood sugar level, just so you know a normal person, actually a diabetic has a goal of before meals their blood sugar should between, be between 80 and 120 and after meals, usually with a blood sugar taken two hours after you eat, your blood sugar should be under 180. That's typically what the average diabetic is told to aim for. And so often they will take their blood sugar when they wake up, before meals, after meals, and it's not unusual if, like me, where you're dosing insulin, you have to check your blood sugar five or six times a day. So I've put in what could be actual blood sugar numbers. And so I've got it at 9 a.m. with 99, um, 6 a.m., and I've got these out of order deliberately because order doesn't matter in a dictionary, we're looking for the pairs, at 86, 1130, 123, 1330, that would be 130 in the afternoon, 212, and so on. I've then declared two global variables. I've got top underscore range, because that is the goal, is to keep your blood sugar under 120, because I'm not getting as complex into before or after meals here. We're just saying that the goal that we're going to look for is um, 120. So we want our the blood sugar to be at or below 120, and we're going to test for that later. And then I've declared another dictionary called high, so I can add values to the high dictionary for any blood sugar levels that are high. So I have two functions created in here. The first function is just going to get the average blood sugar for the day because I've basically passed in a day worth of blood sugars. So I've initialized total as a variable to be equal to zero and then for blood sugars in the day total plus equals day BS. So it's going to add each of these numbers, each of the values together and then I'm going to determine the average to equal the total divided by the length of the sugars dictionary and that will c count each pair and then it will print your average blood sugar today was plus the a string version of the average value then in my second function I'm checking to see what we're over that top range so I could make this more complex and determine if things are before dinner or after dinner, but I'd really be guessing just from the times here because 9 a.m. could be after I ate breakfast. It's just a guess. Um, it would need more information to be able to do things more advanced. So this is just simple. Is it over 120? So what I'm using, I'm declaring here that I'm using the global variable top range Technically, the dictionary, it's declared outside, but I don't have to use that global statement with it. So global top range means that I'm not declaring a new variable. I'm using that one. And for blood sugars in today, if today's blood sugar is greater than the top range, we're going to add them to the high dictionary and add today's blood sugar value 
so that I can see at what times were my blood sugar over or was my blood sugar over 120. And I'll print that whole list. Then I have to call each of the functions, average blood sugar, passing at sugars, and over passing at sugars. So they're using the same dictionary to send to each one. Let's take a look at how that works. There we go. Your average blood sugar today was 132. At 11.30, the blood sugar was 123. At 13.30, 2.12. At 15.30, 160. At 1800, it was 143. So all blood sugars that were over that 120 mark print here. You're going to do a similar but not identical exercise where you figure out average temperature for a destination in months of the year and which are the warmest months. So this should give you a good example of how to go about that.